Comrades, friends, welcome back to our beautiful Republic of Technovakia. We have a lot to do as usual. Uh, whoa, there was a little lag there. A lot to do as usual, so uh, let's get to that. Uh, before anything else, it's important, and we just unpause so we can earn that rubble. Uh, it's very important to get this construction area started. Um, so first of all, we need we need workers here. <clears throat> uh, workers gonna gonna be supplied by this bus stop, and we're just gonna need a couple for this and a couple for that. Yo, I think we're gonna go with the mini buses because they are the fastest to cover that long distance. But we'll do a double check. 90 kilometers. Yeah, I don't think anyone else can even come close. Oh, that Skoda actually has 85 kilometers, so it's it's almost there, but it's really not necessary. And we're gonna take these minibuses, um, RF-977, just to have a little bit of variety and set up a line. Um, draw these from Berlin to... Oh man, that's a long distance. Hope it all works out. To here, and uh, we're gonna load in Berlin anybody wanting to work really I don't think we want workers without education and you can launch and then of course we need more set line no 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 we want copy schedule that's what we want um there we go so we want to copy the schedule to these two and I think enough time has passed that bus station there we go so we want to see our first there it comes so when this guy leaves we're gonna set up what the hell are you going okay so he's, he's uh, fueling up first <clears throat> so when that guy leaves we're gonna send the second one and go going in here okay now we're gonna send the second one and we'll do the same, just so we have them spaced out a little bit. Uh, he should do just the exact same thing. There he comes. He should go there. Fuel up and then grab some workers. I really wish there was a, another option to do this with the with the workers to uh, or with the buses rather to space them out a little bit. But it's like you have to. You have to do it manually because their schedule is so deterministic that it will just keep the distance that they had when you set up the, r the road and unless you disturb it with a bit of construction or something but anyway so now we have a cement that we're just gonna buy out an initial amount uh, maybe just 100 tons uh, it's not much for that and the rest we're gonna have Okay, so now I know why I don't want that many dumpers. And we'll just sell you. I mean, we're rich anyway. We'll just get a couple of dry bulk tankers. And these guys... Yeah, pretty easy. We're gonna get the MZ-504. Um... <laughs> hmm... I'm gonna start like this. Yeah, I think two should be alright. Okay, and you guys are gonna load up in... Ah, before we do that, by the way. We do need to set... Oops, we have some workers now, so let's purchase bitumen, because we don't have those anytime soon. And now we have asphalt available, and soon we'll also have... Cement available. Why is there none? Huh. Oh, they only draw when they need it, so it doesn't show up here. Okay. Okay, um, so we should be able to finally do this. And uh, let's just watch it a second, because there's uh, plenty of stations, uh, plenty of construction. Yeah, there we go. That needs uh, both asphalt and... Okay, so the that one works already. Do we have one that needs cement? Not currently, but that's okay. It should work. Anyway, so let's uh, set up the supply now. Uh, 
you are gonna draw cement. Oh god, that's a long drive. Yeah, we really need to move that. But you're gonna load cement here. I think that's the way we do it, right? We're gonna load cement there. That is loading, not unloading. And you're gonna unload it here. Unload cement, there we go. And that should start off these trucks. There they go. Okay, and they're just superior in any way. They're faster and have more storage capability. So, let's actually check over in Zena what kind of layout we have here. We have four dumpers, two of these, three of these. Open, 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 open. Where's the just one cupboard. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough here, actually. Once we start construction. Uh, but we also don't really have a warehouse, do we? Oh no, we do. It's here, but that's currently buying components. So we're actually gonna set up... Definitely want a cupboard hall. Um, we probably want two. We'll need so much gravel. <laughs> ah, what a difficult decision. Um, currently, we don't need the open halls, but I mean, as soon as we start construction here, we'll uh, burn through iron like nobody's business. And this here is now in the works. So that's good. Yeah, I think we'll sell one dumper. Yeah, not the full one. Oh, that guy. Let's sell one dumper and get a couple covered hulls. Now what do we have? Oh, the small ones we don't need. Three tons, two tons, 60 miles. Yeah, the Skoda is probably still the way to go. A little bit slower. Oh, actually these guys, MZ. Yeah, they're way better than even the Skoda. Okay, so that's settled. Um, and we'll get... We'll get from here and deliver to here. I'm not there. 60% uh, sure. But I'll go down to 10%. Cement plant, we don't need to wait. Uh, actually, you know what? Except gravel, I want to have the 10% in here. So Berlin always has a supply. And obviously, just mechanical components and electronical components. And they should start doing that. Why is the second one not leaving? That's weird. It should also be leaving, no? Don't we have electronic components in Berlin? Ah, oh, we don't have the 10%. I see. Um, what if we... Ugh. Okay. Don't want that. Mm, how about we do it like this? No, still. 17 tons. 7 tons. Let's try that. Is 7 tons 10%? I don't think it is, honestly. Let's go with the 17. Not with the 31, Jesus. <laughs> Not with the 24. How did we do it? Like this? Almost. Still 24. 17, okay. 
I mean, we're still rich, so it's not too bad, but doesn't mean we need to waste money. Okay, so now we should bring that up to a nice 17. Look at how fast that draws the cash. And that should prompt our second covered hall to leave. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so we have that supplied now. And we are ready for construction in this area, which is pretty great. Um, problem is we'll have a very very expensive construction here. So I think what I'll do is supply all the materials and then maybe buy out halfway through all that um, worker time. Because that is just gonna be, I think, too long to wait. We're almost through the bridge here. Crazy. That is crazy. Okay, cool. Um, let's check over Stettin. We don't want to miss yep, the construction. Okay, we're fine here. Construction has stopped because we miss all the resources. So we just entered the next phase. That's all right. We just don't want to miss this because uh, it'll draw workers and we need the workers everywhere else. We have our construction sites here. Everything's working beautifully. We have a multitude of students we need here. But everything else seems to be working nicely. We have meat and food here. No workers, though. And no power. Yeah, so power is going to be the next thing we need to address. And I'm going to speed up just to get through the night. Because you cannot lay power lines in the night. <laughs> it's just not. They're barely visible by day. So we do want to see what we're doing. And uh, for that, I'm going to... It seems excessive now, but I'm gonna set up a new uh, transformer station. It is not as excessive as it looks, because we will have more um, residentials here. And we also need some power lines down here. So for that reason, we will need one more. There we go. We will need one more power station. A power transformer, rather. Um, we'll have some reserve on this one that can supply this new area here and then we'll have one in here that will partially supply our new luxury residence area and partially supply this maybe gonna split this still yeah once we come in from this side with the power grid I might split up just to make sure we have a redundant power supply for this area. But we have a, we have a power grid redesign up in uh, maybe one or two seasons anyway. Because this currently is just a non-coherent mess. I mean, if there's one failure, we don't have any redundancies. And with an economy like ours, uh, we're getting to the point where failure of parts of it is no longer really an option. Uh, because if the food supply crumbles, I mean, we have such high consumption with those uh, two big cities now. If we add a third to it and our food supply crumbles, we'll we'll have a serious problem. Uh, that draws the, the stores down so fast you can't even... can't even realize it before it actually happened. Uh, sorry, I'm quite distracted here. I love the priorities. Let's first get the uh, uh, first get the tennis playgrounds up before we do anything else. <laughs> I love that. Actually, I want to watch these a bit. So we're going to start with the. Doesn't matter. We're going to have to start somewhere, right? So we're going to start with the power substations first. I did scout a little bit, and there's a couple of nice spots where we can put them. Well, they'd be mostly out of the way, which is uh, one is going to be in this little corner here, and we can still disguise that with some. Just like so. With some trees and uh, park elements and whatnot. So there we go. I'm gonna connect you up here. So that's the first that can supply this area. Then of course we want some redundancy as usual. So we're gonna have one up in the corner here. But we don't want... Like this one gets its power from here. The other one will get its powers through somewhere up. Actually, where? Uh, up here? It's pretty tight, probably. 
Huh, that's actually not too easy. I didn't think that one through. Uh, we can get through here, but do we really want to cross the... How about this? Can we make that from here to here somewhere? Doesn't look like we can. We can go here. Okay, and then from here to here is possible. And from here to somewhere. Where's there infrastructure in the way? I don't see any infrastructure in the way. There's just a tree. Ah, dodge. Got it. Okay, so from here to. Oh, from here to here is possible. Okay, so we can go here and there. Okay. So this would work. And I think that's acceptable. Just not, like... We don't want to obstruct this view, even though it's... I mean, this is just free space, but... Uh, it's a panorama restaurant, so you don't want a, a panorama rama. Panorama restaurant. So we really don't want to obstruct the view on the sea out here, right? Like if you imagine, you're sitting in here eating. Um, you want to have the panorama view, right? Like so. That's what you want to see. You don't want to look on a power line. So uh, we're certainly not going to do that. So we got to bring it somewhere else. But if we can go through here, I think is okay. We'll just have it over the footpath. Right there. Here seems a little bit crampy. Actually, here is even... Yeah, here is even better, I think. That looks clean. We'll go through here and there. Okay. Um, just because for the orientation of the substation. So we'll need the one that gets that gets it from behind and yes i know that did come out wrong um and it being the power supply and that gets it from the left that gets it from the right that one gets it from the front no or can it have no from the fr front also gets it from the front and that one also gets it from the front. Great! So which one can we pick? <laughs> I guess the one that gets it from the left. Or from the right. I think from the right is better. Okay. Um, so like this. I think it's good. And we'll uh, try and give this a little bit of a curve. There. Okay, doesn't matter anyway. It's gonna go into this weird intersection there. Uh, and we're of course gonna block off the U just a tad with a couple of pines like so. um, actually not this one because then you can't see the ocean anymore okay uh, so that's that and that and then we need a third one just for redundancy's sake oh what was that nice a new container liner. Well, containers are far down the road. Don't have those available yet. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. What was I going to do? We have one here, we have one there. We need a third one. I think that one was planned in here. Yes. Perfect. It works here or there. Can that work? Yeah, that could work, actually. And I think that's a better spot. Great. Okay, so we have that. Um, and let us now bring over the power lines. Um, one can come out here. Another one here and the next one comes through hang on isn't there a street connection oh there isn't oops that was a bit stupid oh well what can we do let's try this it's gonna cost us some levels not too many. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we draw the line. 
So either we try and hide it through here, but I think it's too close to the area there, so I'm gonna just go outside. Here. There. And just come along. Really? <laughs> okay. Fine. Um, I'm just gonna go right along here. And then from there we're good to go. Okay, so we got three connections here. Um, we'll have a residential area here. So we do want like a big road connection from here over to there, right? That should be roughly the way it goes. Like here. <clears throat> so we do want our power supply somewhere close on that line. Um, and I think we'll have it like so, where we have the most flexibility with these medium power lines. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so I'll just place it for now. Plan it. And then we need a switch somewhere around here, which we have to buy out because that's going to interrupt an existing... Didn't we leave some connections? No, we didn't. Okay, um, yeah, I need to cancel some wires. And voltage switch. Probably... So I'm going to get this... So what we would need is this. We cannot place it like that. <sighs> what we could do is this, maybe. Yep, this works. Um, but let's first just plan it. And let's see how that connection looks. So this is beautiful this is beautiful and then we have that perfect okay we can come over here let's actually when we're planning it anyways let's actually do this right away we'll bring the road here hug the um, the rail just a little bit closer like so Disconnect you here. You know what? Let's actually remove that part completely. And let's really hug that rail. No, that's not close enough for me. We're gonna bring it to the rail here. And then hug it. There we go. Just in case we need some more construction. There we go. Construction related buildings along the rail tracks. We can easily build those. And now we can have the voltage over here and then just follow the road. Like so. Well, that actually came out surprisingly beautiful. Okay, so we need to buy this. And we need to buy this, if I'm not mistaken. And then we should have power. There we go. Okay, and this can be connected to somewhere here. Like so. Okay, uh, this can be built. Why? Oh. not too bad I mean I really have OCD in that regard but it's like why can't you just connect roads anywhere you can connect them why does it have to be such a hassle anyway okay so we need three power lines um, and the connectors are gonna be I think we'll bring one two three okay so we'll bring two across uh, 
Or do we want to have a switch? Yeah, I think a switch might... Might be good here. We'll try, why not? I mean, we put a switch here, and then let's see if we can connect the biggest medium voltage here, and the other ones... Yeah, that is actually possible, or will it complain? Will it complain? Doesn't look like it will. So we could do it like that. Um, yeah, but we need to cancel. I almost cancelled all the wires, but we'll certainly need to cancel this. Um, we'll have to stay inside here. So, we'll come over here, here, and then connect here. Yeah. And this one can then be on the other side. Yeah, maybe we'll turn the switch a little bit. I think that's better. It's really, really difficult to make um, make the power connections somewhat space efficient. But yeah. Like so, maybe. Try and get into this corner a little bit. Like so. I would just bring you here, actually, that is... Let's try out that. But that's a little bit close. I don't like that. Because we need some buildings here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never mind. I changed my mind. Just like so. Let's try this one again. And bring you here. Up the road. What did I do? Up the road, I said. There we go, to here. Over to there. Okay, over to here. There. 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 And this one can then. Yes, that's what I want. So you can come here, sideways, just a little bit. And then you can draw them onto the road here. And go parallel, like so. Okay. This side, and you can cross. Hmm, where can you actually cross? Can we go through here? We can! Look at this! I like that! Okay! So we have that connection here. We have that connection here, and of course we'll have this connection that can then just follow along the side of the road all the way down to here. Cool. We'll have you come in here. And we'll have you come out here, along the road. Like so. Okay. I think that's, uh, that's acceptable. That's not wasting too much space. So we'll construct that. And I'll buy out this thing, just so we can get construction going a little faster and since we're rich anyway we'll buy out some of that road as well mm. actually just like so here and here okay then we can buy out this part of the road there we go oh shoot okay so I bought out 
a little bit more than I wanted to, but hey. Good, okay. Great. Um, and maybe a little piece of that as well. Awesome. So now we have a good chance of constructing that today. Very good. Um, we'll buy out the switch as well, so construction can start, and then they can build these cables there. If we can still see them. Yes, we can see them here. Are all the stations connected to a road? Um, this one is, this one is, and this one is. Perfect, okay, so we got the power grid set up there. I'm not sure about this area here. I think, yeah, they're all hanging on this little guy. That needs to change a bit. But that's why I left one connector up here. So we could actually bring one connection here. And then we have three connectors here that can bring in there. And then we have some connectors down here. But, I mean, until we need power here, it's going to be a minute or two. So uh, we're going to just wait with that for now. Good, let us check out how far we are here. Yeah, we are at the dreaded tunnel construction station. Everything else has started already. So let's actually check out our oil production over here. And I think there's pretty much no alternative to what we did here. Uh, the only thing we need is to connect all these by our road. Mm. So we gotta put in some road crossings. Uh, we got an active pump station here. One in, three out, right? No, three in, one out. Okay, so we'll leave this one here. But then we'll put a road crossing, I think, here. Let's see what we have there. Oop. Uh, conveyor and pipe. Mm -hmm. So we'll need three in, like this guy. I think it's three in, one out. So if we put you around here. Oh, my brain is having a collapse. Um, if we put you here, we have a road. Like, we could come up with a road here and there and connect all these guys onto the road. I think that works. Let's try that. Um, which one was it? The first one. Okay. Let's try that. Uh, if we demolish you... That doesn't get rid of the pipes. Okay, no problem. We can make ourselves a little space here. Okay, so we can try this. Mm -hmm. And then we'll still have the road connection before... No, that doesn't really work out. We'll still have to cross the road with this one. Hmm. I mean, this one is easy. <laughs> okay, so that's solved. And this one is easy as well. So they can start construction, actually. Can they find the office? Oh, uh, no, they can't. Oh, because we don't have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we cut off the street here. But just so we can start construction while I'm hemming and hawing around here. Um, let's move streets a little bit here. And um, let's actually build. We have a road like so. Ah, uh, what the hell? I just slipped on my mouse. Oh, that wasn't the plan. Like so. Okay, so now they should find these guys. Yep. 
so they can start construction there. Um, actually, gonna also buy out this part. Oh no, not footpath. This part. Okay. Cool. Um, we have that. We also need to think about a fire department sometime soon. But at least we'll have this construction office humming. Quick check for workers there, by the way. Just a quick... Oh, we're doing alright. Power plants working fine. And we're up to maximum storage. We have the train hanging out here. Just unloaded, but you do have wait until unloaded. Great. Okay, cool. And the bridge is coming along. We will need to plan the tracks. And our coal surplus should have been drawn down. Oh no, it's not. Honestly, we need to make the coal train bigger. We're not using enough coal. And the way here is way too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to make this one bigger. What's happened? No workers? Oh, okay. So coal is no longer the problem. Now we don't have workers here. Why is that the case? Mm -hmm. Because they don't walk from here anymore. Okay, so let's see. We do have... Lot of these, these, these. We just have two buses here. 82 workers, uh, KSM 111. So we're gonna actually set up this bus. Get workers from Mazina, because we still have plenty there, and it's uh, it's a long trip anyway. And bring them down here. So that can start right away. And then we'll get another one of these KSM-11s and put them on the line here. But yeah, we do need more people in Berlin. And they cannot reach the station here. Oopsie daisy. Oh gosh darn it. Yeah, that, that killed us here, right there. I, f I overlooked the uh, finish. Um, of the uh, train station and uh, here we go 300 workers there that didn't get to where they needed to be so that should even out um, we're still gonna set up a KSM 11 at least we're gonna buy one there we go and copy the line to it and then um, I guess you could start. I mean, we're gonna need it either way. So, might as well start. Okay, I'm hoping this will work out now. Anyway, where was I? Yes, uh, we wanted to start construction here and I was checking if everything is still running smoothly. And that is, we have plenty of steel here. Being ferried to here, yeah, I think we're good. Um, bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, uh, we're gonna replan this construction area here, but I need to work off camera a little bit to uh, free up that area. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it just yet. And we're gonna need some rubbles there as well, because there's gonna be some rebuying and buying out. That's gonna happen. Okay, so again, I'm actually gonna get rid of the. Okay, so Let's see, we have a road connection here, and one here, and here, and here. Okay, so we can connect these dudes. It's just for fire department purposes anyway, right? But I mean, we could have a road coming through here, around that one. Like so. 
onto here by there and then connecting into the road here giving access to this one and this one and now we need to have some road crossings we could come around here I think is what we want being a little more generous with the curve here like so and so Do we want to connect you and you? I think we do. Okay, but then we need a road crossing here. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. So we need that. So it doesn't really matter too much what we do there. We're going to need multiple ones anyway. Um, actually, <coughs> can we do this like so. And so, what is this here? That looks so weird. Is that a connection, a proper one? I don't think it is. Like so. Okay, and then you can connect up here and you can connect up there. Okay, so we have that and that and that. And then the road needs to go through here as well. Um, like we need... You know what? Actually, we need. Uh, bu 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 bu. Where's my pipeline deconstructor? We actually need it to go past here. I think that looks way better. Yeah. If we no, if we go past like so, then we'll need a road crossing here, and from there we should be okay. Um, that should be a road crossing in. So, okay, then to redo the road one last time. I know I'm a master of road construction, I know you're all in awe and envy how extremely well I can plan those in just one go. I mean, okay, and then I'm just deconstructing that so we have one smooth, wait, smooth. Uh, connection instead of this mess. Okay. So I'm bring you here and then add this and then connect you here with a bit of curving like so and so and uh, so and of course Okay, so we have all these dudes connected. And we're gonna bring stuff here, here, here. And now we just need... Um, these and these are connected as well. Okay, so now we need to connect the pipes. And... That one goes out here. So we feed in here, in here, in here. It goes out here. And then we need another three in one, no? Yep, I think that's the way we'll do it. Another three in one, like here. We could do it with another road crossing, but I think it looks better if we have another one of these pumps. Yeah, I should have that a little better, but hey, it, it'll work. That's not the problem. So we have you here, you feed in there, you feed in a little nicer curve in here. And ultimately, we'll feed into the tank. And uh, we can actually redraw this piece of road a little bit. Like so. That's uh, a little too much. Maybe from here to there to there. I think that's all right. Everything can be reached. That should work out. We'll see. 
Okay, those can get constructed, and then we'll just hang out and wait, because that's going to be a minute or two. So construction on our raw oil is already starting, which is okay. We can build up a little bit of a reserve in the tank. And we're probably going to add some more tanks to it. And uh, we do have our power lines being constructed. They're so fast with that. We already have power here. That's amazing. This is already done. And this here is being worked on somewhere. If I can click it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, can you see it? Okay, they have all the resources, so just a couple worker days and then that's done as well. So soon we'll have power here and uh, some more citizens. So things are moving along nicely. Mm, maybe just this here is a bit of a breach of style. Yeah, I don't like that house there. We might have to reconstruct here. Might have to. Okay, so as final act, let's check out if we resolve the situation here a little bit. Um, we're drawing down the coal reserves. And here's one more bus coming, bringing 10 workers. It's a bit sad, honestly. <laughs> uh, but we got some more traffic. It's good we built that bridge. That really holds it all together. Speaking of holding it together... Yeah, we got the food here. And we got the meat here. Awesome, that is all working out perfectly. And we still have... Uh, no. Okay, we're drawing down the workers now. So we gotta watch it. We gotta watch it a little bit. I think we're alright though. Yeah, it looks like we reached Mazina's potential by now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. And we're filling up the train, of course. Because what else would we do with that? Come on, let me click you. Okay, so we don't need to extend the coal train, is the long story short. And we have everything we need here. So next episode we can get to planning our agricultural area there, our new one. And then we need to extend our rail, because these two uh, high-power construction vehicles, they really get the job done. I mean, we're almost there. Oh no, never mind. We're gonna need a load... I forgot about the steel. Oh god. 400 tons of steel. Oh yeah, that's a cool 150 grand, 300 grand. Okay, never mind. So we're not done. But soon we will be. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I really love how our little republic is coming together. And how we'll soon have the most basic of... Uh, well, I think we got almost all the basics once we have our oil production going. And uh, then we're going to go into the season change and start building up a heating pipeline network. That's going to be great fun. Probably something for off screen, building the network, and then I'll do the finishing touches on screen. But that is stuff for future episodes, guys. You enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching and see you around for the next one.